Warning, the driving situations and stories in this video are for entertainment purposes only. In no way should this be taken as driving advice. On today's show, we'll talk about electric cars, and I'm surrounded by Priuses. Stick around, you're on the 405. talking about electric cars today, I thought it'd be fun to count how many Priuses I pass on my way to work. So, you ready? Go! So you get guys like this just putting along, not caring that they're blocking the lanes all the way across. But whatever. So how many of you have heard of a new car company called Tesla? Um, if you're not familiar with Tesla, this is car company founded by Elon Musk, who I'm a huge fan of. He's the guy that created PayPal and then sold it for like a billion dollars. Uh, he went and created uh, SpaceX as well, which is the private space exploration company that's now getting contracted by NASA and hugely successful. They've actually developed a rocket now that lifts off, hovers in the air, in their test anyway, it hovers in the air and then it lands the same way it took off just comes straight back down, which is really cool. So the idea, I guess, there is that you can use rocket and land it and reuse it and keep doing that, which makes a lot of sense. Um, but anyway, back to Tesla. So he created this car company called Tesla that makes electric cars, and these are fully electric cars. They're not hybrids like the Prius, like this guy in front of me. Uh, the Prius is pretty popular, especially here in L.A., and I think that's mainly because there's a lot of... Um, you know, save the environment types around here. <laughs> um, I won't go into the politics of that, but I'm not a big, you know, save the planet dude. Although, you know, I'm not all for trashing the planet or anything like that, but um, I think there's a lot of overhype in the whole environmentalist thing. But anyway, uh, so uh, Priuses are, are great because they get good gas mileage. But the problem with the Prius is that it's still a gas car. Uh, it still has a gas engine and all the complexities of a gas engine. And it really doesn't save that much gas mileage. Um, although that, you know, it does get better than most cars. Um, but the cool thing about Tesla is that their cars are fully electric, like I said, and they have kind of cracked the code as far as battery storage. And their cars have up to a 300 mile range which means that you can travel for about as long as you would on a tank of gas um, on one battery charge 
they also have a network of what they call superchargers um, along major freeways around the country and they're building more all the time where if you have a Tesla you can stop and charge up for free and it charges incredibly fast like I think 50% of your battery in about 30 minutes so if you're on a long drive you stop for lunch charge up your battery and you're good to go by the time the check comes so it's really cool um, that you know electric cars have actually kind of gotten over that hump up until now most electric cars that have come out have been you know have had a really short range you have to kind of plug them in when you get to work for me they wouldn't even most of them wouldn't even work because I I try to travel like 35 miles one way so if I made it to work which would be questionable um, then I'd have to plug it in when I got to work plug it in again when I got home but with the Tesla you know you can you can drive all day when you get home at night you plug it into your garage and you're good to go the next morning um, so Tesla initially about four or five years ago came out with the Roadster which is their plan was to create a fast fun sports car that was electric to prove that electric cars can be awesome because um, really the the whole um, stigma of the electric car has historically just been it's for nerds you know and environmentalists <laughs> and uh, Democrats <laughs> um, but seriously you know that there's been kind of this negative vibe on electric cars um, so they wanted to prove hey this can be cool so the the Roadster is a really fast car it's actually about as fast as this thing but the really cool thing about these things is that they're so incredibly simple um, the the Tesla motor is about a watermelon sized motor um, very simple that's the really the only main moving part um, there's no transmission it's a single gear drive um, you know no oil changes your maintenance is next to nothing um, very very little maintenance on this thing um, brakes um, you hardly ever have to use because it has a you can do what they call one pedal driving where um, you know when you let off the accelerator I almost called it a gas pedal but it's not really I guess uh, when you let off the accelerator it slows the car down and if you know as as you slow down it recaptures that kinetic energy um, so if you're going down a, lo a long big hill uh, you could get to the bottom and actually have more battery power by the time you got to the bottom um, so it's incredibly simple uh, which is great uh, I think this is the first huge advancement in the automotive industry that there has ever been ever since cars were invented I mean if you think about it we're still using the same basic gasoline engines that were in the first cars I mean this engine's not that different really from the one that was in the Model T although you know this thing would eat Model T's for breakfast so Tesla's strategy has been basically a three-pronged attack and their first stage was to prove the cars could be cool the electric cars could be cool with the Roadster which I think they've done um, but they never really expected those to sell a whole lot they're about hundred thousand dollars and up um, phase two was to create a full-size sedan um, that more people would buy and it's a little bit less expensive and they've done that that is the Model S and you may have seen it in the news it actually won the Motor Trend Car of the Year Award for 2013 which I think is pretty historic um, that a fully electric vehicle would win that award um, their third stage um, after they've proven that the Model S can be successful and I think by the way they're just about to announce uh, profitability for the first time since uh, the company was born um, their third third uh, stage what is to going to be to uh, create a low-cost electric vehicle for everybody which I imagine would cost hopefully around thirty to thirty five thousand um, dollars for that price I would be incredibly tempted to buy one um, and so we'll see I mean so far the company has been incredibly successful um, people who have invested in in stock in the company have been rather pleased the stock price has been going up and up and up and I really I really see the future being mostly electric vehicles on the road uh, especially here in LA I, I could see within 10 years that half of the vehicles on the road are fully electric and I think Tesla is the company that's gonna make that happen 
Um, we'll see. So what do you guys think? Do you think that uh, this is a fad? Do you think it's just not going to happen? Or do you think, like me, that uh, this is the future? I'd like to know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. Let's talk about it. This guy's license plate says Kiasmus. I'm guessing he got that car for Kiasmus. I doubt he celebrates Hanukkah. But, you know, he could celebrate Festivus if he had a Ford. Speaking of Tesla, there's one right in front of me here. This is the Model S. Judging by not having a license plate, it looks brand new as well. And that's pretty. See if I can get a better look at it. Oh. Not to be rude, sorry dude, but just want to see your car. And then we've got a Prius right next to us here. Which one? Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with the Tesla, thanks. Oh look, there's another one. Well, my exit's coming up. You know what that means. I'm about out of time. I hope you enjoyed the ride today on the 405. If you did, hit that like button down below. Please subscribe by clicking on this beautiful Model S right next to me here. And if you have any questions or comments or feedback, leave those down in the comments section. I will see you next time on the 405.